Hello and welcome. Uh, my name is Joe Segezi. I am one of the RFID specialists at Senatron RFID Solutions. And I'd like to give you guys a general rundown of RFID and what it's all about. And uh, get, try to give you guys a quick um, RFID 101 uh, educational material and just uh, basic knowledge so you guys understand what RFID is all about, uh, what is the RFID hardware, software, how does it work, uh, what is the typical expectation of what you should have when you're thinking of signing up for an RFID solution for whatever purpose, whether it's for inventory or automation or whatever else it is. Again, try to give you guys as much knowledge as possible so you go into it with eyes open and just have a better experience since you understand what it's all about. So um, I've made this document, which is a compilation of everything that I've learned since the time I've been you know working on RFID projects it's been quite a few years so you can imagine there is a, quite a bit of information that I've learned that I will try to summarize quickly for you guys in this video so you know how can RFID be used as the uh, document on the screen explains you can use a handheld RFID scanner to do inventory. So typically that's the biggest benefit of RFID solution is you can do inventory much faster than obviously doing inventory using manual personnel or using a uh, barcode scanner. Uh, you know, with a barcode scanner, you have to walk up to every item physically and barcode scan those items in, or you have to count them and scan them in and put in a number versus an RFID scanner where you could take a handheld RFID scanner and read inventory very quickly without touching the products typically and it just you know hundreds of items thousands of items per seconds per minute and you could uh, event you know, essentially inventory a 20,000 you know product retail store maybe in an hour depending on um, the scenario of how the store's layout is or in a warehouse in an hour you could uh, inventory um, a 30,000 square feet warehouse for example when you're reading the label RFID tags on each pallet to see what pallets of goods you have so that's what it is and uh, essentially there's two options you can use a fixed RFID system or a handheld RFID system uh, the difference between the two is that the you know, essentially they're the same uh, in the fact that they both read uh, inventory RFID labels from a distance and, and it, you know, all that information goes back into a software and you could see on a beautiful dashboard what is the total inventory you have in your retail store, in your warehouse, in your pharmacy, whatever situation it is. I mean, it's, it's either for inventory counting or for tracking of products, people, assets. So anything that you want to track, you can track it and you can also inventory it and you could do a bunch of other things with it as well. So there's many, many different types of use cases and benefits beyond just doing inventory. But the most obvious um, is to do inventory. Uh, that's how it started, but then it flourished into many other areas and benefits as people realize what are the other things that you could do with this technology. So, um, you know, a handheld RFID scanner looks like this. I'll pull up a uh, video just to show you guys, you know, somebody can walk through uh, a retail store and very quickly read all of these, uh, you know, inventories very quickly. It um, penetrates through most materials except liquids, metals, and carbon fiber plastic. So obviously apparel is one of them. It can penetrate through wood and many other materials as long as it is not metal, liquids, or carbon fiber plastic. Um, I'll show you guys another example. Uh, this is another retail shop. Uh, these guys have 
fixed RFID antennas. As you can see, these are on the ceilings, and these things can um, very easily and quickly, uh, you know, read the inventory. So they could turn it on um, and read, you know, everything in the store, 95% accuracy in 30 minutes to an hour. So uh, without without any, uh, you know, manual uh, labor requirements. Um, and, and the, you know, the RFID sensors could be used in warehouses so they can, you know, for example, track pallets as they move through aisles so they could know that, you know, this pallet that this gentleman's putting away right now is going to be in 8B. So when you look on the software dashboard, uh, and by the way, this is the Senatron inventory RFID dashboard. This is, you know, the, the number of total active inventory is the total number of RFID inventory items, whether it is actual inventory or equipment or personnel even. That number will show up on the inventory dashboard. And when you look at it on the dashboard, you could see where these items are actually located within the floor plan of a location, whether it's a retail, warehouse, hospital, it does not matter. Um, the same solution can be used to look at the inventory, can be used to see the last seen time and date stamp of that asset. Um, if you have fixed sensors, you know, reading those assets all the time, this, these time stamps will keep updating every couple of minutes because it's real time. Or if you're doing a handheld RFID scan, um, then it's only updating as often as you're doing handheld scans. For example, every Monday you do an RFID handheld inventory scan for about an hour. Um, and when you click on those assets, uh, if you have fixed readers um, at certain choke points, for example, you have sensors here and there, you would know when it went from warehouse one to warehouse two, or when it went from back stock to sales floor, or when the item uh, came into the location or when it left the location. Whether, again, it's a retail, hospital, warehouse, it doesn't matter what it is, the technology is the same and it gives you those breadcrumbs so you could see those movements and that information. So that's what the solution is. Um, it's, it's, you know, handheld RFID scanners or fixed RFID scanners and it's used primarily to do inventory and tracking um, and, and locationing. So you would know where, what location those items were in. And uh, beyond that, you could also do other automations. So for example, you could use a handheld RFID scanner and scan in 500 assets, products, inventory, and say, I'm transferring this to location two. Within seconds, you create a transfer slip to another location, uh, something that would have taken you hours uh, using any other method will be done in minutes. You create a transfer slip and then on the other side when they receive the goods, they can use a handheld RFID scanner or a fixed RFID scanner again and quickly either read those things with a handheld or the fixed readers will pick them up and they will automatically be received or semi-automatically with a handheld RFID scanner. They scan them and they see, oh wow, two things are missing, uh, you know, and and it reports that to the management and that's visible for everybody to go and look at on the dashboard. And uh, the, other, uh, the other benefit of RFID is that, again, you could find things quickly. So if you're, if you're in the case of like a handheld RFID scanner, um, you still get the mapping technology. We have this proprietary option where even if you've scanned in the items, you could still see, for example, this widget A where it was last seen when they did the handheld scan on the floor plan. Or if you have fixed sensors throughout the location, then it's, it shows you the yellow circle of where is the last place the fixed RFID reader saw it. And so, um, and if it's in real time and it's still seeing it now, the same yellow circle. So it's either the last seen or current seen time, if it's real time. So, um, so yeah, so basically it, it has these uh, benefits and, uh, you know, this explains, uh, this is an example of automatic detection of item movement. So what this is explaining is that, let's say uh, you have two different rooms, zone one and zone two. Let's say, example, uh, the zone, if it's a retail store, it could be, you know, this side is the sales floor and this side, zone two, is the back stock. So 
as I, you know, inventory moves from this side to this side, it would, in the software, it would reflect that, you know, for example, Monday 2 p.m., the item went through from the sales floor to the back stock or vice versa, from the back stock to the sales floor, from warehouse one to warehouse two, from production room one to production two, whatever zone it is, for whatever use case it is, again. Um, and, and what does that mean? So yes, it gives you the traceability to see that information in, on the RFID Centertron dashboard um, under each uh, item details page, you could see that. And what it ultimately also means is that you could do automation with it. What kind of automation? For example, let's say uh, you always expect to have at least a couple of items on the sales floor and you sell the last widget A on the sales floor and it sees that you have one more in back stock. So because it knows that that thing was in the back stock, it can set off an automated replenishment alert. And let's say once you bring that item from the back stock to the front, it automatically marks that as resolved automatically so that that replenishment alert has been resolved. It no longer needs to be satisfied by your personnel or employees. So it can do, it could do automated replenishment alerts amongst other things. Other things is that as they're loading things into a container, um, if you have an RFID, fixed RFID sensor above, or even if you manage to use a handheld scanner to scan in what's getting scanned into there, you would know th uh, either automatically or again semi-automatically at what time did these things get loaded into the container or get unloaded from the container to come into the location or leave the location. So again, it gives you that level of visibility and traceability. The other benefit is that um, it, it, the, the same RFID sensors can be installed above exit doors, one on the inside, one on the outside, and the software can see as items leave the premises and it can see when things enter the premises. And if you configure the software um, in an automated fashion where if things leave the premises, it automatically gets removed from inventory. And if it comes in, it gets added back into inventory. It can automate that if you want to do that. That's one uh, configurable option. Um, or, um, or if something uh, leaves the premise and it has not been sold on the ERP or the POS system, when it leaves and the second sensor outside picks it up, because it hasn't been whitelisted, it can set off a audio alert, SMS alert, uh, text message uh, or uh, email alert. So it can, it can act as a theft deterrent slash notification of unauthorized assets leaving a premises or somebody even walking into a zone that they're not allowed to walk into. Um, the RFID sensors, the fixed sensors typically can be installed on ceilings in any fashion. Uh, there's no specific rule as to how they need to be installed. They can be installed on the ceilings in a grid manner. So you can have coverage of the entire insides or they could be in a circular pattern. Uh, or you could have the sensors only at the choke points. Again, like I said, only the important parts. And that's what we typically recommend is get a handheld RFID scanner and only start putting fixed sensors at the important choke points, which are the sales floors, back stocks, warehouse one, warehouse two, you know, entrance exits or, uh, or the exits of those premises. So, um, Going back to this, uh, the fixed sensor, this is another picture that depicts these antennas within a retail store. If you have these sensors within the inside, you can detect if something moves, for, for example, from this wall to that wall, because you have these sensors, they can pick, you know, read those items and show you the last accurate circle of where it was. Or you can use the handheld scanner and put in an item number and scan for it and quickly find it and it will make an audio and visual cue so you can find out where that item is.